On today's episode, I'll be going over how I build one of these benches. Now, these two benches are going to be going in the front sort of courtyard area that I'm creating on the front of my house. Um, I've got just two of them. It's not a massive area, but it is large enough that I can put the two of them and still have space in between. So it's just something nice that I wanted to do for a little seating area. And I'll kind of walk you guys through the process of building them. I got these things off Amazon, some brand called Letkind. Never seen it before, but it seems to be sturdy and nice. I've already built one as you can see. So let's take a box cutter and bust that open and show you guys the different parts. legs that's the seat that's the backing let's cut these wraps off don't forget the bag of bolts that comes in here don't want to lose that just cut this tape don't undo this wrapping I'm laying it this way on purpose because that's the way that I'm going to assemble it.
The instructions for this thing claim that there's only one size bolt, but that's actually wrong. This comes with two different length bolts. They're the same exact threading, but the ones that go for the backrest are a little bit longer. If you use them on the lower part for the seat, you will blow the ends off the little cap nuts that they use to hold them on. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So looking at the bolts in these images, the four on the far left are longer than the eight on the far right. You're really only supposed to have four of the shorter ones and four of the longer ones. This brought a spare set of four for whatever reason. The other box did not have that. Um, so definitely just a packaging mistake. Shows you what kind of quality controls they've enacted at their manufacturing site, but whatever. But if you take a look, you'll notice these are slightly longer than these. And they are slightly different color, which is an easy way to tell. Um, these lower ones will get a washer, go through the leg into the base and another washer followed by one of these cap nuts and this is what I meant. If you were to use one of these longer bolts, when you tighten this down, this cap will bust right off of here and then you'll have just a thread exposed. That happened to me when I built the other one. So I'm speaking from experience. I'm just going to go ahead and set all of these up with their washer. The upper ones do not get a nut because they thread into the backrest. The backrest is threaded for them, so you don't need to worry about that. Okay, that's four of them. Do these, they're not necessary. Now, all of these have a 10 millimeter head on them, so for the lower ones where you do have a nut, I will be using a wrench on one side and my drill with a 10 mil socket on the other side. And then for the uppers, I'll just use the drill by itself. So just for reference, those are the two tools that I'm using. 10 mil on my driver, 10 mil on my socket. So let's go ahead and do the assembly Really basic, really simple assembly. All right, so let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna assemble the base to one of the legs. So there's a curvature here, it matches the curvature on the base. Keep that in mind. I'll grab a couple bolts. Just run them through here. Same thing on the other side, so it's supported. that done, I'll go ahead with a couple of washers, the nut on either side. And I'll just thread that in hand tight for now.
Those are in. Now let's do the backrest. All right, so with this thing on the floor, I'll slide the backrest into position. Once there, grab the four bolts. First things first, I'll run one through and into one of the threaded holes. Again, just hand tight for now. Do the same thing. Another one. Alright, we'll go to the other side and repeat the process. set up, let's flip this over and we'll tighten everything down. Alright, so the entire thing is assembled, hand tight, should be able to flip it over. Got any drama. Now, I'm going to come in with my drill and my socket wrench and tighten everything down. for this thing is done. These things are ready to go outside. Let's do a quick test. It works beautifully. So got the crummy tools that came with that. The other one didn't even bring tools. So with that, the assembly for this thing is completely done. I can go ahead and put these outside. However, for now, they're just going to be decorative pieces inside my home until I prepare the front area where they're going to go. But I just want to show you guys the process and I wanted to get them built so that I could get these boxes out of the way in my house. I'll leave that chair there. I'll put this one over by the kitchen area and they'll actually be pretty useful in the interim until I can put them outside where they belong. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, it's a pretty quick and dirty, simple uh, assembly video. I'll definitely be posting up more things like this and the whole process of the front courtyard. Um, again, if you liked it, feel free to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when I post up another video. If you have any feedback, feel free to leave that in the comment section. And as always, thank you guys for watching.